Today is the second Sunday of Advent, and all around us there is this growing sense of anticipation as we look ahead to December 25th. The kids have their chocolate calendars, and soon it'll be time to do all that special baking for our favorite sweet treats. And of course, the Hallmark movie season has arrived. Sorry, honey. You can almost sense more love in the air. Isn't that interesting? You know, when a person becomes a parent, there's just this expansion pack to your heart that opens up and you begin to realize how much your own parents have loved you all this time. We would suddenly do anything we can to protect and care for that little one. Can you imagine that God Himself, who loved His own Son Jesus, would even consider sending Him to earth in the form of a helpless little human infant? His Father knew the challenges and the pain He would encounter. We read in John 3:16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through Him. That word, world, that refers to you and to me. And as much as God loved His Son, He had this much bigger plan that would free us from our sin, because He loves us too. This amazing love made a way for us to be called children of God and heirs of heaven by putting our trust in Jesus. So as you go about your week, know that you are loved. And so when you bump into that grumpy waitress or that frazzled cashier or that person that just kind of annoys you a little bit, pray that God will help you to be a mirror of His love to them.